Here's an episode of How to Analyse Poetry from the Learning Cauldron. Today we'll be looking at Edwin Morgan's poem, Glasgow 5th March 1971. Analyzing poetry involves identifying and dissecting the literary techniques that the poet uses effectively to explore the theme or themes of a poem. In his poem, Glasgow 5th March, 1971, Edwin Morgan explores the themes of violence in everyday life, social responsibility, lack of care for others, inner city life. The title of the poem, Glasgow 5th March, 1971, immediately establishes the setting both in time and in place. This is an example of one of Morgan's instamatic poems, which was based on a real-life event. He's creating here a word photo. He merely shows us the photo without comment, the style is journalistic, but the photo is comprised of a foreground, a middle ground and a background. The poem is written in the present tense and this adds to its immediacy. The poem starts with a prepositional phrase, with a ragged diamond of shattered plate glass. The use of the imagery here is very evocative. The word choice of ragged suggests shards that are sharp, and comparing the shape of the hole in the glass to a diamond is interesting when we subsequently discover that it is probably a jeweler's shop and that a young couple have been standing looking at it. There's the chance that perhaps they were even looking at engagement rings but because of the incident that is about to unfold, their whole future together might be in jeopardy. The assonance of the A here slows down the pace and gives us time to ponder what's happening. It's a young man and a girl who have fallen backwards into a shop window. There's a sense here of almost a frozen image, a snapshot. So in the foreground of the picture, we have the young man and his girl who are falling backwards into the shop window. At this point, we don't know how this has happened. The young man's face, we are told, is, and this is a phenomenally powerful image, bristling with fragments of glass. The effects on the two young people of falling into the glass window are shocking. The image of the young man's face bristling with fragments of glass is an exceptionally powerful metaphor. One can see that instead of having stubble on his cheeks, he actually has tiny little fragments of glass sticking out of his soft skin on his face and that is a horrific image. Almost worse, the girl's leg has caught, and the enjambment emphasises that, on the broken window, and and the word choice of spurts is very powerful here. It spurts arterial blood. Spurts suggest that because it's an artery, the blood is coming out fast, and the word choice of arterial here also emphasises how dangerous this injury could be. There's a reference to her coat, a wet look white coat, The white symbolises innocence because these people were doing nothing wrong and this terrible event has overtaken them. And the idea of it being a wet look coat is slightly ironic in that now it is wet, covered in blood. And the violence is emphasised by this. The next metaphor that we come across is also very effective. The young couple's arms are starfished out. And if we think of the shape of a starfish and then think of the shape of the people falling through the window, there would be a head and four limbs starfished out. So we really get a vivid picture, but the idea of them being starfished actually dehumanizes this couple as well. The power of three is then used with a list surprise, shock, and the beginning of pain. The sibilance here in surprise and shock slows the pace down It's almost like watching this happening in slow motion, the whole process. First, they're surprised because they weren't expecting this. Then there's the shock as they realize what's happening. And then as the glass begins to bite, they have the beginning of pain. And this is a very powerful way of showing the process that happens um, when they're as we discover, pushed through the window. And we've had a couple here. We have another couple now, two youths who have intentionally pushed this young couple, this innocent young couple, through the plate glass window. And they only see it as a job, effectively. They are intending to complete the operation because they want to steal what's on the other side of the window. And that word choice of loot is the idea of theft, a criminal act. And the word choice here of smartly is also interesting because it suggests that they've planned this very well and that they've now been successful in executing it. But what's horrifying and what really shocks the reader is their faces show no expression. They have just potentially caused life-changing injuries to this young couple 
potentially they may even die. And we have no way of knowing what happens in the end. And that almost makes it more shocking. It is a sharp, clear night. The word choice of sharp here is interesting because it evokes the idea of the broken glass, but it's actually probably referring to the weather. And clear, these two youths had a clear intention of what they wanted to do. Also, the fact that it's a clear night makes what follows particularly interesting. The poet mentions that they are on Sochi Hall Street, which is a well-known street in Glasgow, thus re-establishing the setting. And also mentions mentions that in the background there are two drivers who keep their eyes on the road. So here are another two people, there's three sets of two people, the couple, the two youths and now two drivers who keep their eyes on the road and they represent society here. They're ignoring the plight of others, the poor young couple who have been pushed through the window and they're just keeping their eyes straight ahead and not helping in any way, which almost, it suggests, makes them complicit with the youths in this crime. So we have the three levels. We've got in the foreground the young man and the girl. In the middle ground we've got the two youths who've pushed them and then in the background we have these two drivers. So in one single 23 line stanza an event is described in a shocking and impactful way that leaves the reader contemplating what they might have done in the same situation. Would they have interfered or would they too have kept their eyes on the road? I hope that's been helpful. See you next time.